The CrossFit Open is coming, and you know what that means. NORAP Festival. In this video, I want to show you why NORAPs, both in competition and in training, undermine the spirit of the sport. I will give you three reasons why, looking at it from a more biomechanical and also from a physiological point of view. All right, let's dive straight into it. Hi everyone, welcome back to another World Science video. I'm Gomar, I'm a senior scientist at ETH Zurich, based in Switzerland. I've spent the last decade studying muscle biology and its relation to health and fitness. I have published dozens of peer-reviewed articles uh, in this space, and now I want to explain some of that science back to you guys. I'm sure you know how it goes, the no rep hero who always beats you on every daily walk in your local affiliate. But when it comes to competition, it is a complete different story. Or he or she is simply not showing up, or he or she is finishing be way below you on the leaderboard. Why? You guessed it. Because during competitions, there is a judge. No reps have been the nemesis of CrossFit like forever especially during online competitions like the Open or the quarterfinals. But why do they undermine the spirit of competition and how much advantage do they give the person who actually does the no reps? Let's look at it um, from a typical movement that is done a lot uh, in many CrossFit workouts, a wall ball. As you know, during a wall ball, the, the athlete front squats down with a medicine ball to below, below parallel, or at least that's the goal. This means that the crease of the hips passes below the level of the knee. From the bottom position, then the person accelerates up to throw the ball to a target above the head. Here's a simple picture of the first move I just described, squatting below parallel. It all involves uh, around the center of gravity, or more specifically, the displacement of the center of gravity. In physics, we describe work as force, F times the distance. In this little case study, the force applied is defined by the lifter's weight and the additional weight that is applied to the lifter, which is in this case the ball. The distance is the interesting part. When a person does not reach full depth, their center of gravity displaces an X amount of centimeter, let's say 45 centimeter. This obviously depends on how tall the person is. When he or she does squat below parallel, their center of gravity will decrease more, let's say approximately 10 centimeter more. So because of simple physics, the total work for one rep will be less, much less, when a person fails to squat below parallel. Here I listed out how much, how much less total work the above parallel squatter actually did, using the numbers from the example I just explained. Uh, we can see that squatting above parallel appro approximately results in 18% less energy expenditure per rep. Something to think about next time when you see a person doing no rep front squats. A second reason why no reps provide a massive advantage is very related to the first reason and involves around uh, more simple biomechanics, and more specifically biomechanics of the joint. The effort that has to be produced from the muscles to decelerate and accelerate the ball depends on the distance between the fulcrum, the joint in this case, and the load that is applied to uh, that, that joint. Uh, in this case, what is the load? It will be um, the weight of the lifter, as well as additionally the weight of the ball. If we make a quick calculation, just stick with me, because this, this is actually very interesting. The distance between the knee joint and the load will be the highest when the angle between the upper leg and the lower leg is around 90 degrees. Above or below that, the distance is actually smaller and hence the moment on the knee uh, will be lower. This has two implications. One, small athletes do have a strong advantage uh, in squatting. Because their femur is shorter, they will require less effort to squat the same amount of weight as a taller athlete. Second, when a person does not reach full depth and squats, for instance, to a knee angle of 130 degrees, he or she will also require a lot less energy to stand up any weight compared to a person who actually moves all the way down through 90 degrees and beyond in their squat. All in all, this obviously does not matter for, let's say, one rep. 
But let's take an example. Let's look at, for example, workout 19.1 during the Open in 2019. We all know 15 minute AMRAP of 19 cals on the roar and 19 uh, wall balls. If a person would spend only 10% less energy each rep during the wall balls because he or she does not reach full depth, this would result in dozens of uh, reps more at the end of the 15 minute time cap and also thousands of places on the leaderboard in the open, obviously. Then we come to the third reason why, in my opinion, no reps undermine the spirit of CrossFit. If you watch one of my previous videos popping up right here uh, above on the screen, you already know that energy production for workouts is fueled by different uh, energy sources, creatine phosphate, carbs, and also fats. It are predominantly the first two that are uh, providing energy for high intensity movements in shorter time frames, let's say two um, to 12 minutes. Base case, the shorter the workout is or the time domain a person does actually the exercise, the more power or energy per second he or she can deliver. Think about thrusters and pull-ups. Advanced athletes can do the workout Fran unbroken at a total of 45 reps, a split between 21, 15, uh, 9 reps, and they always do it unbroken. Most advanced athletes can do these unbroken sets in 2 to 4 minutes. But from the moment such a workout becomes only two or maybe three minutes longer because the workout is not 45 reps per, per movement, but 60 reps, the athlete will have to throttle down um, dramatically, take more rest, do more sets, and thus have less power or energy per second throughout the whole workout. In fact, energy production per second drops off exponentially once the workout becomes longer. This means that if you are doing no reps, you not only have to produce less power for each rep, you also have the ab ability to physiologically produce more energy per second via more, let's say, powerful energy systems. This is obviously a double win, or should I call it a double loss for the no rep. It is hard to quantify the exact advantage of doing no reps in terms of performance in CrossFit, as this obviously depends on the, the brutality of the no reps and also the variation uh, in the workout. But it is clear from a biomechanical, but also from a physiological perspective, that no reps give an exponential advantage. And in my opinion, they have to be uh, pushed against at all times with good judging and also definitely live competition. In my opinion, CrossFit did a good job to decrease the um, importance of the Open uh, in the overall season. Although uh, I saw now they give uh, prize money to the event winners, which obviously doesn't, doesn't help. And also the quarterfinals are, are still online. And I'm sure we'll, at least we'll try to cheat again doing no reps with, uh, with the sketchy uh, camera angles and so on. Listen, for instance, to my previous in interview with games athlete uh, Jelle Hoste, and he display, explains how hard it is to actually qual qualify for um, the, the, the semi-finals as a tall athlete. To be honest, uh, I don't exactly know what the, the solution is here. Yes, as I said, live competition with, with professional judges is definitely the way forward. Um, but if you have another idea or a suggestion, please comment below. So for you watching this video, if you see a person doing no reps, do not hesitate to call him or her out or at least single this to the coach. Even when it's not intentional, doing no reps is just a terrible way to train where absolutely no one wins. Certainly not the person who's actually doing the no reps. All right, that was it for today's video. Screw the cheaters, long live the full rappers. Do not forget to give us a like and also subscribe. Stay fit, do not no rep, and see you in the next one. Ciao.